Right, Leo, let's get into a reading and see what does the next 30 days have in store for you. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at the next 30 days. This is a timeless video, timeless reading. So it doesn't matter when you find it, when you watch it, whether it is the instant I release it or whether it is six months later, let this video still be relevant and valid for you. So we're looking at the next 30 days from this moment. So we're going to start with the Oracle because I do like the way Oracle sets the tone of a reading and just gives us the guidance guidance that we need to hear. So Leo, what does Spirit say the next 30 days have in store for you? So the card I have drawn is the card of dedication. I just love this artwork. Isn't it gorgeous? And it says to you at the bottom here, your challenges will reap rewards, but it's dedication. So we have to sort of unpack and understand the word dedication and what it means. It means persistence. It means sticking with the thing. It's not giving up. It's going through the whole thing. It's about understanding that, you know, you can't just start a thing and have it win and have it finish and be successful. There's a process that we have to go through. So dedication is absolutely absolutely what the next 30 days have in store for you. So it doesn't matter what it is you're dealing with, whether it's a work-related thing, a personal thing, whether it's a health thing, whether it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter what category of life it falls into, but whatever it is that you're dealing with at the moment, you need to dedicate yourself to it. You need to dedicate yourself to the steps, the actions, the behaviors that you need to follow through in order to achieve the outcomes that you are looking for. If you do something half-hearted, if you do something a little bit haphazard, you, you can't expect good results. You can't expect a positive outcome. It's the dedication and the persistence and the perseverance and all of those words that are going to help you achieve whatever it is you need to achieve within the next 30 days. You know, 30 days go so, so by so quickly, goes by so quickly these days. Um, you know, blink of an eye and it's an end of a month. Blink of an eye and it's, you know, the next month and the next month and the next month. It's just crazy. So 30 days is a very, very small window that you have. So to dedicate yourself, your activities and your actions to a positive outcome over a 30 day period is not asking a lot. Um, and again, the little the little phrase across the bottom here, it says your challenges will reap rewards. So the effort that you put into it is definitely going to pay off for you. All right, I'm going to leave the card on the table here in front of me. I am now going to shuffle some tarot. So the tarot is going to give us clarifying information. So in because your particular situation is dedication towards an outcome, dedication towards achieving something. From the tarot, I want to know what that is, okay? Why is it important that you have dedication, that you are so dedicated? And what is the challenge, what is the thing that you need to be dedicated towards? So shuffling the tarot, asking the questions, let me cut the deck, um, and let's see what we have. Okay, so our first tarot card that we have is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is not a fabulous card. It's not a card that goes, yay, exciting, fabulous. Ten of Swords is a card that says we're carrying a lot of burden. All right. Um, and if we look at the artwork here, you can see that, that well, hopefully you can see that, that she's, she's crying. There is sadness. Okay. There is hardship and struggle and sadness and difficulty. You can even see how she's got her, her shoulders all stooped over. She's not living her best life. She's not in a really good space. And she's feeling as if she wants to give up. And maybe that is exactly where you are, Leo. Maybe you are feeling like you are ready to, to, to give up. Maybe you don't have the dedication. Maybe you're at that point of I don't want to do this anymore and I, I want to be out of here. I don't want to participate. I don't want to engage. Maybe you're feeling a little bit hopeless. Okay. So the, the confirmation that we're getting from spirit here is that you have to push through that. Ten of Swords, when it comes up in a tarot reading, I often say to the clients that, you know, it, it's that feeling of giving in, that feeling of giving up. It's that feeling of just surrendering and saying, oh, you know what, I, I, I give up. I can't do this anymore. It's that feeling, but it's also the realization that when you succumb to the situation that you're dealing with, when you sort of throw your hands up in the air and go, oh, well, you know, nothing more I can do about it. That's when solutions and opportunities for improvement and change come through. So Leo, whatever it is that you are dealing with at the moment, instead of trying to control it, and I know that's difficult, instead of trying to control it, instead of trying to manipulate it, instead of trying to handle it in whichever way you usually do, you actually just need to, to let it go and let it sail, let it go its route, let it do its thing, because in so doing, you're actually going to solve your problems. In so doing, things are actually going to improve for you. So 
back to our ten of swords and the camera really does not want to focus on the ten of swords it's like spirit doesn't want you to actually look at the ten of swords <laughs> and that's okay if we don't actually have to look at it that's fine but it's recognizing that it's in the giving up control that we find ourselves moving through the obstacle and coming out the other side but again it is also about i'm showing you the back of the card it's also about being dedicated enough to actually go through with that motion all right the next tarot card that we're drawing much better card much better card we have the queen of coins all right so the queen of coins she is there she is in focus how beautiful is she so the queen of coins you know she is i'm gonna call her the 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 mother nurturer so she's the one who takes care of everybody's needs she's not going to give you a hug she's not going to to console you but she's going to make sure that there's a plate of food in front of you so you all know that woman you all know that person whether it is your own mother an auntie a granny a a neighbor's mum, whatever it is you all know that woman when you arrive at her house there's always a plate of food ready to go in front of you it doesn't take much it's not like she goes and and cooks for 40 minutes before she she's just like magically she can put a plate of food in front of you and that plate of food just soothes the soul so that's who our queen of, of coins is okay so she's going to make sure that whatever you need is provided for and taken care of so who is your queen of coin who is your queen of pentacles who is this woman for you this person for you let me not let me not uh, put a gender on her who is this person for you that always takes care of your needs because they are dedicated to your happiness they are dedicated to your to serving your needs and making sure that you are where you need to be so if you can take a little bit of that same dedication if you can take a, a page out of their book in becoming that person for yourself where you've always got something in reserve because that is the message that i'm getting as clear as day we need to be dedicated to see a thing through to the end over the next 30 days but we also need to understand that our needs are always going to be met there is always something in reserve so that if an extra comes in if something new comes in if something unexpected comes in there's a plate of food readily available even though we can see the bottom of the pot <laughs> even though we can see that uh, you know the food is running low we, we can always find a way of making sure that there is enough for everybody and leo for you in particular you know i know you guys are the leaders i know you guys are the ones who like to to be the forerunners be, like to be out in front and showing everybody else where to go but to accept a little bit of help every now and again to, to accept a plate of food and, and uh, uh, you know to accept a plate of food from somebody every now and again is not a bad thing and it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you less fabulous than what you are but what it does is it helps you to understand the truth of what you're going through and to understand what it is that you need to face all right next tarot card we have all oh, this is getting very interesting so the next one we have is the seven of swords now we have this this creature right and i'm going to call this creature an, an owl right because I, I don't know what it is i'm going with that i know it's not an owl but can you see how it it's carrying all of these swords over here but they're behind it it's it's leaving swords behind so it's not taking everything that's there so the message of the seven of swords is sometimes we need a, a proper strategy because if we wing things, if we just try and figure things out as it goes, we're not always going to be successful. So we need a plan. Okay, so Leo, this is Spirit saying to you, you've got 30 days. I'm using three fingers, but it's 30 days, right? <laughs> you've got 30 days. And we need to make sure that we are dedicated to achieving and accomplishing and attaining whatever it is that we are dealing with right now. So if it's a work matter, then we need to be dedicated to achieving our goals over the next 30 days but how do you achieve goals how how can you be dedicated to an outcome if you don't have a solid plan because the last thing you want to do see if i can get it into focus the last thing you want to do is to leave these two swords behind we want to make sure that we're not just taking these ones but that we are taking all the opportunities that are available and if you don't have a plan if you don't have a strategy you can have all the dedication in the world but it's not going to get you anywhere okay so we need to have a plan if you've got health issues and you want to sort out your health issues over the next 30 days then really again we need to have a plan you can't just go okay well i'll, I'll drink an extra glass of water and i'll walk you know 20 minutes every day that's not enough 
It may be, but it's not enough. How do you know that those actions are appropriate for the outcomes that you're looking for? So this Seven of Swords is basically saying to you, if you wing it, if you just dive in and do stuff and hope that it's going to be okay, you're going to find yourself feeling very disappointed and very despondent. All right. If you actually put the time and the energy and the effort in, knowing that you are protected, that you are safe, and that your needs are taken care of. But if you put the time and the energy in to create a solid action plan of how you're going to do this, of what it is that's necessary, then that plus that, <laughs> this one plus this one is going to equal success, is going to equal you changing your life in the next 30 days. So, Leo, all things said and done. I'm hearing from spirit that whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever this thing is that you need to work through over the next 30 days, it's not just a small little thing. It's something life-changing. It's something fairly substantial. And it's something that you've been trying to, to overcome or to deal with or to handle or to resolve for some time. But it's like you get to a certain point and it's you hit a brick wall, boom, and you bounce back. And then you, you work through it again, you hit that same brick wall, and we just don't seem to be able to pierce through that brick wall. You have been dedicated, because it's not like you haven't had dedication. You have been completely dedicated in overcoming and achieving this thing. But it's like this, this brick wall the whole time. And the issue with this brick wall is the brick wall's not going away. The brick wall, we need to understand that the challenge and the obstacle, the thing that is preventing your progress is not moving, it's not going away. So you have to change okay you have to change your strategy you have to change your method your process and maybe that's why the seven of swords was coming up because maybe the plan needs to be completely different to what we've done before recognize that the actions your past actions didn't take you to where you needed to go because there was an obstacle the obstacle is not going the obstacle is not changing so therefore you have to change right grabbing from the oracle again okay as a continuation of our story and this time we have got the card of in nature and it tells you connect with nature so what does this say to you this this to me screams out of the box so the box is the house the office the building the structure that we live in and we are all so used to <laughs> staying in our safe places staying in our homes and our offices we don't venture to the outside okay i'm motioning to the windows in my office we don't motion we don't go to the outside we tend to stay in the safety of our four walls and this card of telling you in nature is telling you that if you want to strategize if you want to if you want to come up with better ways of dealing with whatever it is you're going through at the moment leo you need to color outside the lines climb outside of your box climb outside of your box your box is your routine your structure your familiar okay you need to climb out of that and you need to go against the grain you need to do something completely different to what you've done before which is what i was saying earlier on you know saying that i use the analogy of the brick wall and you keep hitting that same brick wall and you keep going the same way constantly so this card of in nature is telling you to climb outside of your box to do things a little bit differently to not conform to old patterns you know this is the beauty of nature if you've ever observed a field over a period of a year or two how it goes through these cycles of change okay as the seasons change but it doesn't have a calendar it doesn't have this this alarm clock that that rings a bell and says oh by the way now you should be flowering or oh, now you need to be losing your leaves and now you need to be doing this it just trusts and goes with the process it's got a plan it knows what its end goal is but it utilizes the environment around it to determine when it does certain things so we need to become more like that we need to be more adaptable to the environment around us and when we stay in our box when we stay in our familiar and our comfortable, we lose the ability to, to sort of just go with the flow. And we become, very, become, we become very rigid. And when we are rigid, we suffer disappointment, agony, hardships, and challenges. Because being so rigid, being so stuck, being so secure in our ways is what causes us hardship, difficulty, and challenge. 
being more fluid and knowing that no matter where we are and no matter what we're doing, that our needs are going to be met, that our needs are going to be taken care of, that is where, that's what gives us permission to, to explore options, to explore potential of what is around us, but always to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> so if you've got a plan, and if you are comfortable and familiar with your plan, then then you know what, you're going to be okay. But you have to put the energy in. You have to be dedicated. You have to be determined and focused on the outcome. But you also have to make sure that you are climbing out of the box, going with the flow of what's happening in your life at the moment, and not allowing yourself to be too confined, limited, or restricted. All right. I need to just make a little bit of space here on the table in front of me. I have a completely different tarot deck that I now want to shuffle. So this other tarot deck, um, so we're giving all the cards an opportunity to come through again. And the question I'm asking now for you, Leo, it's like we understand the, the gist of the message, right? We understand that, okay, so we, we need to do things a little bit differently. We need to climb out of our comfort zones. We need to be dedicated. We need to work hard. We need to trust and believe. But I want to ask the question of why? So why is it important that we do this in the next 30 days? What is important, relevant, and significant for you, Leo, over the next 30 days that you need to do this, that you need to go on this journey, that you need to go on this experience. What is important over the next 30 days that you have this experience? All right. So I have shuffled. I have cut. First card out. Oh, this is interesting. This is a very, very interesting. So it is card eight and it is the card of blame. Now, let me tell you that the card of blame comes from the eight of swords. When you see the, the, the gray down the bottom here, it is the suit of swords in, in the tarot. And can you see she's got all these bars in front of her face? Can you see that? Like all of these bars in front of her face, limiting and restricting her ability to see, her ability to move, her ability to, to live. So who are you blaming? When we are trying to focus on changing our lives, on being dedicated over the next 30 days, of making a difference, of being so focused on one outcome, one experience, one, one thing. Whose fault is it if we don't achieve it? Who do we blame if we don't accomplish that? Who is responsible for the lack of success in your life? And Leo, I mean, I don't know if you need me to say this, but it's you. You are responsible for your own actions. You are responsible for your own outcomes. Remember I was saying how, where's my climb out of the box? <laughs> we have the in nature. And what I was saying to you is that if you've ever watched a field over the many, many years, over the different seasons, it doesn't have a calendar, it doesn't have a clock, it doesn't have an alarm. What it does though, is it adjusts to the external environment. So if it, the weather is hot, it knows it's going to bloom. If the weather starts getting colder, and not a single day or a single moment or a single time, but a period of time, when the temperature starts dropping over a period of time, then it knows, okay, I need to go quiet, I need to go within, I need to go slow. And basically, it's about adjusting to the external environment. And this is the thing that you are not doing, Leo. You are not adjusting to your environment. You're staying dedicated and so so sure of doing things the same way that you're hitting the brick wall over and over and over again. It's time to come up with a new plan. It's time to come up with a new strategy. But it's also time to stop worrying about whose fault it is. Because ultimately, it's your own fault. Ultimately, you are responsible for your own life, for your own actions. But it's the external stimuli, it's the external environment that causes restriction or not. And if you now are saying, oh, well, I can't bloom because it's cold outside. Well, maybe you're trying to bloom in the wrong time. So it's about getting familiar and getting aligned with your external environment, adjusting your demands, adjusting your outcomes, adjusting your strategy and your plan to suit your external environment so that you don't make mistakes, so that you don't leave anything behind. The next tarot card. <laughs> oh, I have to agree. It is choices. So this is you standing here and all of these things around there are the different options and choices that you have. 
So the issue that we have here, Leo, is that at any point in life, you do have multiple choices and options, multiple different hats that you could wear, okay? Like, pick a hat, pick any hat, you know? But what happens is we get ourselves so caught up in the analysis of, oh, but do I want to be Mickey Mouse? Or do I want to be the king? Or do I want to be an angel? Or do I want to be a jester? Or do I want to be the, the Viking? Or do I want to be the cowboy? Or do I... <sighs> Like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm all of those things. So I want to be all of those things, but I can't be all of those things, but I want to be all of those things. And analysis paralysis kicks in. Seven of, of cups, okay, which is the card of choices, is telling you that sometimes we can be so overwhelmed with the choices that are available to us that we actually don't make any choice. We're so afraid of making a mistake that we don't do anything. And this comes into our box. And this is why Spirit is saying to you, get out of your box. Climb out of your box. Become one with your environment. Become in flow with your environment, with the nature around you, with the world around you, so that you can choose the hat. Because if it's a bright sunny day, you want your cowboy hat on to give you a bit of shade and a bit of protection. But if it's raining, you want your umbrella hat on so that you have, again, protection. If it's uh, whatever, you need to choose the hat based on the environment around you and based on the strategy that you are living your life by. And if you are dedicated not to choosing the right hat, but if you are dedicated to just doing what's right for you at the right time, you may be surprised as said to how easy it is to overcome the obstacles and the challenges that you are facing. So Leo, the message from Spirit for you is don't overthink things to such an extent that you create yourself a, a track that you're stuck in that limits you and restricts you. You do need to have a strategy, but your strategy needs to incorporate the world around you, the environment around you. You need to be able to flow and adjust accordingly to what's going on around you. For the next 30 days, don't be so rigid on one plan that gets you hitting that brick wall all the time. Be fluid. Allow yourself to flow. Allow yourself to evolve. Allow yourself to change. Because in 30 days time, you are going to achieve great things by just making one or two little adjustments to the world around you. I wish you well, and we shall connect again in a couple of days, next 30 days for your next reading. Um, remember, this is timeless. So whenever it is that you find this video, the next 30 days are going to be very, very significant for you. As always, Leo, much love and many blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.